muscles of iris, sphincter pupillae, and dilator pupillae. Today, we'll be diving into a fascinating and essential part of the human eye, specifically, the muscles of the iris. This presentation will walk you through what the iris is, how it functions, and the muscles responsible for controlling how much light enters our eyes. Let's get started. What is iris of eye? The iris is the colored part of the eye that surrounds the pupil. The color of the iris is determined by the amount of melanin in iris. It is located behind the cornea and in front of the lens. It's a thin muscular structure that helps control the amount of light entering the eye by adjusting the size of the pupil. Thus, the iris plays a role in protecting the eye from excessive light. What is the difference between a pupil and an iris? The iris is the colored part of the eye that surrounds the pupil. The pupil is the dark, circular opening in the center of the iris. It's not a structure itself, but rather a hole through which light passes into the eye. The iris contains muscles that control the size of the pupil. These muscles constrict or dilate the pupil to control the amount of light that enters the eye. Now we will discuss the main topic. The muscles of iris. The iris contains two types of muscles that control the size of the pupil. The sphincter pupillae and the dilator pupillae. The sphincter pupillae constricts the pupil, making it smaller, while the dilator pupillae dilates the pupil, making it larger. These muscles work in opposition to each other, allowing the eye to adjust the amount of light entering the eye. Number 1. Sphincter pupillae. It is also known as the iris sphincter muscle. This muscle is a ring of smooth muscle fibers located at the margins of the pupil. It is under the control of the parasympathetic nervous system. When the sphincter pupillae contracts, it constricts the pupil, causing meiosis, thus reducing the amount of light entering the eye. This happens in bright light and during accommodation. Pupillary light reflex. This reflex involves the sphincter pupillae contracting in response to bright light shining into the eye. This reduces the amount of light entering the eye. Accommodation. During accommodation, the eyes focus on nearby objects and the sphincter pupillae helps regulate the amount of light entering the eye. Number 2. Dilator pupillae. It is also known as the iris dilator muscle or radial muscle of iris. This muscle is made up of radial muscle fibers that extend outward from the pupil. The smooth muscle fibers are specifically arranged radially like the spokes of a wheel. It is under the control of the sympathetic nervous system. When the dilator pupillae contracts, it dilates the pupil, causing midriasis, thus allowing more light to enter the eye. This happens in dim light. And during sympathetic stimulation, like the fight or flight response. Dim light. When the dilator pupillae muscle contracts, it pulls the iris outward, increasing the pupil's diameter. This action allows more light to reach the retina, enhancing vision in low-light situations. Sympathetic control. The dilation of the pupil is under the influence of the sympathetic nervous system. When the sympathetic nervous system is activated, it sends signals to the dilator pupillae muscle, causing it to contract and thus dilate the pupil. And that wraps up our overview of the muscles of the iris. Understanding these muscles gives us a better appreciation for how our eyes constantly adapt to the light around us, protecting our vision and enhancing our ability to see in different environments. Thank you for your attention. 